I don't know why, but we guitar players, we are afraid of chords. <laughs> uh, some, also a friend told me, why we are afraid of chords? Yeah, because, and we regard someone who knows many chords, this guy plays great, you know, he knows so many chords. <laughs> yeah, it's, we need to practice more chords. <laughs> so, how we do that? In my method, which I designed with nine levels, that we practice with different pieces and different pieces in different tonalities, etc. And therefore, slowly, not so slowly, but I mean gradually, we will get to have a bigger vocabulary of chords there, which are usable for our style also. So, guess what? This is not by getting a dictionary of chords. That's not how we do this. We have to do it applied in practice. Because there is, in theory, in theory, there is no difference between practice and theory, but in practice there is. I learned this from Bill McBurney because when you need to do something, there is a gap, and this gap has to be eliminated. And this how is eliminated? It's not just about the materials, but about you, how you will learn it, and also what do you apply, or is just theory and who you cannot cannot apply. Also, some of the students from the conservatory just came last week and said, you know what, I am I can I don't know how to apply these things, and I am desperate because I have years doing the same. <laughs> and I, I told the guy, well, why you don't ask them? Just tell the teacher that that why why you want me playing the same things? Uh, tell me something else. Uh, and and he said, yeah, I said it, but they they said no, this is the, this is so it's not necessary. With that, you are okay. <laughs> Of course, it it involves an effort from the teacher to 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 do it right. Teaching is more difficult, more difficult, much far more difficult than playing. If I would have to play only, then I have no problem. I sit and play. But if I have to make play, you play. My success is to make you play better. So I want to make others play. This is how I enjoy it. This really is a big challenge. And it's more fun, but it's so difficult in, in the sense that you have to invest the time. You see, this channel has 2,500 videos. It took me hours and years. To do. You have to sacrifice things. So if, if you want to get away easy, then you say, well, that, that's not necessary. Yeah, of course, but this guy is, is uh, has hunger of new things. And then, of course, they are going down like anything because every time uh, we see more people leaving uh, institutions, um, bureaucratical, bureaucratically settings or sets, bureaucratic schools, let's say, where, where the teacher doesn't care about the thing. But if you want to learn uh, properly chords, then you just need to practice them. How can you practice it? This is what is about my method. So if you want to join in Skype, then you are welcome from the scratch you can learn it and then you will know why because in flamenco we need bassier chords we never we will not use so high chords unless it is for for ornamentation or that because you need to play strumming you will mainly play bassier chords this is one thing which is very interesting, and because because of the rhythm rhythm feature on, on this style, so all things you can learn from the from from the scratch. You just need to have the proper method and to be supervised properly.
debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.